Hi, this is Mata from CareCam Tutorial. Today we are going to sketch for cliff uh, frame. So let's start. Click on top plane, sketch, select construction line, and draw one horizontal line. Okay. Now select line. Select one line and pass through the end point of construction line. Okay. Select this both the line, press shift and make equal. Okay. Select this vertical line, select the center point and select midpoint. Okay. Now assign some dimension, choose smart dimension. Keep 483 mm this one keep 200 mm this horizontal dimension keep 63 mm now assign some radius corner radius choose 10 mm radius r10 select yes and this corner also yes click ok now select extrude boss keep thick, uh, this thickness 2800 mm choose middle mid plane and choose this one thickness 7.5 mm ok Now see this is our uh, frames one side is sketch now select sketch click on normal select corner rectangle and drag from end point to here ok now assign some dimension keep 200 mm upper side keep 45 mm ok extrude cut choose up to next ok now this already cut now select right plane mirror and select this uh, choose body this part ok uh, merge solid ok now this our vertical frames almost ready now we will go for further select sketch select normal now select line tool and draw some lines keep the end point of this ok draw a vertical line then a horizontal line then meet this point ok out from the line press this line and select vertical assign some dimension key 40 mm ok now go to extrude boss keep thickness 7.5 mm but inside ok now sketch plane keep some offset 75 mm not outside inside ok and this one keep 400 mm but not the opposite direction see is looking uh, quite better 
so this okay i think select okay choose fillet keep radius 5 mm and choose this one this one select okay click sketch select normal now select construction line and draw one construction line from end to end of this frame only this frame okay now select rect uh, rectangle center rectangle and draw one rectangle in mid from midpoint okay now choose smart dimension assign 300 mm okay and vertical dimension keep 150 mm okay now select extrude cut and keep up to next okay this is quite better okay now assign some ra uh, radius on in corner choose fillet choose radius 25 mm and choose select all the corners 1 2 3 and the last one select okay now see now select this fillet face click sketch now draw one sketch in this area so select line and draw one line there okay select and select choose this three point arc we will draw one small arc here okay is out it then again select line draw one line up to this line and close this loop out now assign some dimension choose from here to here 25 mm this dimension keep 45 mm and this radius keep 35 mm okay and this dimension keep 125 mm now assign some relation radius press shift and this tangent okay the same as here radius and this line select tangent okay now sel select radius and draw one circle here assign dimension keep radius di diameter 30 mm okay this is our requirement now select extrude boss keep 10 mm and assign some offset we want up to 50 mm but not opposite direction okay and thickness 50 mm that's okay and blind also opposite direction okay now choose this axis and select linear pattern choose body and keep distance 45 mm okay now choose right plane 
click mirror we will make mirror these two parts so choose features of mirror select both the parts see this already mirrored click ok now this already mirrored now again select this area click on sketch click normal now draw one sketch here select line draw one sketch exit and choose three point R say exit okay choose line and draw one line here and meet this one and close this loop okay exit from line now assign some dimension to this structure keep 75 mm radius keep 50 mm and this dimension keep only 10 mm and this vertical dimension keep 175 mm ok now assign relation this one and keep tangent the same as here this tangent ok select circle and draw one circle here give dimension 30 mm ok select extrude boss now same as select offset keep offset 5 mm opposite direction and thickness 10 mm opposite direction ok now select right plane click on mirror and choose this body now this already mirrored click ok now this our uh, hooks are ready it is required uh, while assembly select this plane sketch click normal now we will sketch one layout here select line and draw one sketch here select construction line and draw on construction line vertical line ok now again select line and draw on line from this point to this point and join this point out now assign some dimensions keep this dis distance 25 mm 
from here to and 38 mm the center distance keep 100 mm this point to this point 150 mm now from top to Two ninety mm this distance keep one fifty mm. Okay, this this is quite better. Now assign some radius corner radius. First select fifty mm and assign this corner. Click okay. Now again assign seventy five mm and click outside okay again okay now this is the our picture now select mirror entities now choose this all sketch mirror about construction line okay now select extrude boss now select offset 530 mm opposite direction uh, no keep 600 opposite direction and D1 keeps 60 mm select ok now this is drawn now select linear pattern choose axis and keep distance 530 mm this direction keep ok now select this is click sketch click normal and select section view click ok now we will draw one sketch here select line ok from here to here draw one line now choose this 3 arc point sketch assign dimension 50 mm radius keep both the point horizontal ok and this point plus this point keep vertical ok now assign some more dimension from end of line to end of this 150 mm and end of the point to this 140 mm ok now click extrude boss
कीप थिकनेस टेन एम एम एंड दिस वन सिक्सटी एम एम क्लिक ओके नाउ अगेन एक्सट्रू एडिट एंड सेलेक्ट अप टू नेक्स्ट सी दिस विल कम टू दिस एंड ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट दिस प्लेन स्केच क्लिक ऑन नॉर्मल नाउ लेट्स स्केच सेलेक्ट सेंटर रेक्टेंगल क्रिएट वन रेक्टेंगल असाइन सम डायमेंशन हंड्रेड एम एम वन फिफ्टी एम एम ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम फिफ्टी एम एम and assign some corner radius 10 uh, keep 10 mm in all corners okay select extrude cut select up to next okay now select right plane mirror and select this this one and this cut out okay now select this click on sketch normal and select one rectangle center and draw one rectangle here assign dimension 100 mm 250 mm from top to bottom 1220 mm Select both this center and shift this center. Keep vertical. Okay. Assign radius. Corner radius. Keep twenty mm. Okay. Now select X. Extrude twenty five mm. Okay. Select sketch. Click on convert entities. Select offset. Keep offset twenty mm. Reverse direction. Okay. Now select uh, extrude boss. Select middle portion. We want to extrude it. Okay. Now this uh, extrude is less. Just click edit and keep forty mm. Okay. Now select X sketch offset. Choose reverse. Okay. 
now select line and draw some sketch here to here then here exit now select extrude cut select both the portion up to 40 mm okay now select sketch normal now choose line draw one line center try to keep center now select extrude 10 mm okay now select plane sketch normal now draw one circles choose circle and keep in center assign dimension keep diameter 20 mm and from distance from center to corner keep 40 mm okay now select extrude cut up to surface choose this surface okay now select fillet keep 25 mm select okay again choose fillet keep 25 mm this one keep 25 this end choose 25 25 select okay now we will make mirror so just select right plane mirror now choose the part this body radius this body radius Just cut out almost all selected okay i think there is something missing select edit just select this portion also click okay now just okay okay this already copied
select this plane and click on sketch select normal now select some lines press shift the same as here hold shift key select convert entities now click offset entities keep 50 mm distance select line click ok now select plane line and close this entities ok same as here exit from this sketch now choose extrude boss select offset keep offset 25 mm and d1 distance keep 150 mm this is quite better select ok now choose fillet 20 mm same as another end now this is done this is the frame for forklift lifting main frame of the forklift from where we will lift all the materials this is our forklift frame it's ready thank you for watching this tutorial you will learn here how to make a sketch a frame in SOLIDWORKS and for further videos keep watching our tutorial videos thank you